seven year olds and we are making flashlights today. And today we are not gonna focus on a famous uh, scientist like we did before, but a famous science table. So this is the periodic table. And why this is important when it comes to flashlight is the periodic table is kind of like, you can see the little blocks. They're kind of like building blocks for science. You gotta take each block to create new things. So we are gonna focus on um, a couple, couple of particular blocks and that is the CU, which is loaded up. This is copper. This is what copper comes out of the earth. This is what it looks like. This is what sometimes when people think of copper, they think of pennies. Because back in the day, pennies used to be mostly made up of copper, like the Statue of Liberty. But today and age, it's just a little bit of copper. Copper is used in electronics. And we're going to make play with circuitry. So this is an example of different types of circuits. What is a circuit? A circuit is a path in the shape of a circle. So this one is called a series circuit because see, you can see two light bulbs in a series with a switch and this is where the power comes from. This is the battery. This one's called a parallel circuit because you see the parallel circuits of the light bulbs. They're not in one flow, they're in two separate. Okay, and we still have our switch and we have battery. Simple circuit is what we're gonna create to make our flashlight. And that's one light bulb, one switch, and one battery, and it goes in like the simple circuit set or circle of one big circle. All right? But circuits just aren't in electricity like your light bulbs. And in your house, it's other fun things like this. You can have circuitry in neckwear. Let me find my button. Or headpieces. I need the button to go in. Oh, did it go? I'm lit up. Or with clothing. Thank you to my helper, my princess Kaylin. Your kits look like this, and you've got a little bag and you've got a um, cup, and you've got a paper towel, or a toilet paper roll, oh, and I think in the bottom, double check, you have a glue dot. So some of you might have your glue dot in the bag. If not, it's in the bottom, so you should have a glue dot. So in your bag, you should have a uh, clip, a battery, a foil circle, your copper tape, because that's what's gonna help move the electricity, and an LED light bulb. LED light bulbs are really cool. And I made this little book to help. So LED light bulbs have copper, give me a little copper guy, and it has gallium, which is in the filament, which is at the top, and it, calls, it has lead, which that's the lace of your light bulb. And so I blew up the light bulb to help you look because the short, so your legs of your light bulb, the short one is the negative. That's important to remember. And the long one is the positive. So when you hold your, where's my battery? Okay, there's a battery. When you hold and you get your battery, if you look at your battery, it has a positive and then it has a back, which that means it's the negative. If you hold your light bulb with the long side on the front and the other one back, it lights up all by itself. Cool, huh? All right. So first step is you are going, oh, other things we need. So you have your kit. You also need some tape, um, some scissors, and glue. And then of course, coloring markers or stickers to decorate your flashlight. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Super fun. All right, let's make it. Okay, 
First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get out your foil circle. I've got one right here. All right. And you want to go ahead and put some glue in the bottom of your dish. Okay, got my glue, and you're just gonna press your circle right down in the middle. The reflectiveness of the foil is gonna help push out the light from your light bulb to make a nice bright flashlight. Okay. All right, once you've got that down, while it's drying, we're gonna flip it over and you're going to take your light bulb and you're gonna gently kind of press where the legs are. Cause you don't want the legs, if you have these legs go out too far, they can break off. So be very careful with these legs because they can break off. If they break off, your light bulb's no good, okay? So be very careful. So we're gonna take our, uh, our paper clip and we're gonna move it so we can have it as a poke. And we're gonna poke a hole right through the bottom. Oh, there's one. If you have troubles, you can ask a parent for help and you can use scissors. Then once we've got our holes, we stick our light bulb through. Okay, there's my light bulb through with two legs sticking out the bottom. Then without cutting, I'm gonna peel back the tape, so there's tape on the back of this copper tape, it's white. Okay, be patient. You wanna peel back about an inch and you're gonna wrap that around one leg of your light bulb. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to peel back the other end of the tape and wrap that around the other leg. Okay, so it should look like this. And then you take your scissors and you're just going to cut it so it comes two pieces. Then you're gonna slip one piece in the middle of your toilet paper roll and the other one on the outside. And you just hold them together and we wanna tape the two pieces together. Like so. You're gonna let that piece to come down and we're just gonna cut off the excess. And then this piece is gonna come same spot and we're gonna cut off the extra again. Okay, and you're gonna take your clip, you're gonna open it up and right now we just want to clip the inside piece. Like that, okay? And then you can push the inside up because we don't need, we don't need that. So, okay, you're gonna tape, so a little piece of tape. So you're gonna hold this guy in 
place. And then we're going to test out our battery to see if we need it, which way we need it. It lights up. So we have the positive side has to go down. So we're going to cut this back even more. And you're going to take your glue dot, put it right next to your copper tape. Don't put it on top because we want the battery and the copper tape to touch. If they don't touch, you won't have an electric connection and your light bulb won't light. So it goes right next to your copper tape. And you push your battery right on top. And then that way, when you close it, your flashlight works. The next step is just to have fun decorating your flashlight. My daughter colored and put stickers on for this one. All right. Have fun with your flashlight, friends. Bye. And happy holidays. suggestions for books. This is a fun book. It's Build a Room Alarm. It's fun ways of taking um, your simple circuits and things you have at home and making fun new inventions. Uh, this is great. This is where I made my little periodic book for just uh, circuitry. Um, these uh, Basher Science, there's lots of different books. You can see examples of their books. They have fun almost like emojis for each element and great explanations of each element that the kids understand and relate to. Uh, this electrical engineering science and circuits, it is a great information uh, background of like historical where we've come and where we're going with electricity. Um, not really any examples of what you can do with it, just more informative of if you love electricity, this gives you history, inventions, and where we're going. This one is a great uh, book if you want ideas um, of different circuits that you can make at home. Like this one is just lead pencil. This one's a potato pop. Lots of fun um, different kits that you can do on your own. I hope you enjoy these books and look for more.